connecting with others. From birth, humans are hardwired to connect with others. Early connections begin with our parents, siblings, and close relatives. It is through these relationships that we learn about interpersonal relationships. Since interacting with family tends to be a person's first experience with connecting to others, individuals are able to practice and explore in a safe and trusting environment with people who are loving and accepting. The beginnings of an individual's communication style is developed, an understanding of social norms are learned, and it helps form identity. In addition, character traits are also developed through these interactions and lead to an individual's personal disposition and personal preferences. Introvert and extrovert tendencies, I feel, can be seen at a young age. Some people prefer to be constantly interacting with others, while others prefer less social interactions. Understanding the importance of connecting with others is important for every person to understand, especially introverts. Breaking down personal barriers, making a plan to connect, and staying connected will help individuals build lifelong personal networks that will cultivate happiness, personal enrichment, and feelings of belonging and significance. Getting connected. My personal ability to connect with others is constant work. I may not always pick up the phone and call a friend or relative or even email or text because I immerse myself in my work, school, hobbies, and immediate family. I am that self-proclaimed introvert who's perfectly content with keeping to myself, not bothering people, and doing things on my own. I like to see myself as being independent versus being shy. Despite these feelings, I did realize a few, a few years ago how important it is to connect with others. A few months after I realized I need more friends, I made a pledge to myself to do just that, make more friends, and I did. I joined several meetup groups, I opened a Facebook account, and accounts on other social media sites, plus I started saying hi to people I pass in public. I also smile a lot, and that tends to help too. But over time, I've fallen back into my introverted nature. I blew it off as being too busy, but now I realize again I need to reconnect with my friends and family, and possibly make some more new friends. I will make a pledge today to connect more with my family and friends again by reaching out and saying hi, how are you doing, more than I have done in the past few months. I also plan to make new friends and go to more meetups with my hobbyist friends. My solid plan involves tips from the PBS's Connecting with Others website, such as making time to connect every day with others, getting out and playing with others, and expressing gratitude toward others. Every day I plan to make the time to connect with a relative, friend, or an acquaintance. I can make plans to meet up for lunch, go shopping, work out, and maybe catch the latest look at a theater. I also plan to make a daily update to my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, or other social media site that I've kind of been absent from for a while. I will also try to communicate with those I'm friends with on these social media sites too. And lastly, I'll, explain my, I'll express my gratitude and be present with others as we engage with one another. Staying connected. Connecting with others leads to happiness, and when, life, and when happiness is felt, it radiates far and wide so that life seems to be on an upward spiral. Despite what a self-declared introvert feels and says about being perfectly content, isolated, and alone, humans need to connect with others to be well and to thrive. Close relationships allow for a deeper sense of identity. They offer a supported network and draw feelings of belonging and significance. They can even be fun. In my crazy busy life, I know staying connected will be challenging. So I will need to make time to follow my plan of connecting every day with a person. Maybe I can pick up the phone, pay a visit to them, or communicate through electronically mediated communication such as text messages. Skype and social networking sites I also plan and social networking sites. I also plan to get to go the old fashioned route and mail some cards. I'd like to close with some tips for the self proclaimed introvert. Smile. Smile. It opens the door to communication and lets others know that you're approachable and keeps you alert and present. Say hi to a person in the elevator, or his aisle, or gym. Perhaps start a conversation. Make some small talk about the weather, the Houston, Texas, the 
latest celebrity news or scandal in your favorite TV show, give a compliment or ask a question. Perhaps join a meetup group, figure out what you're interested in. There's probably a meetup group for it, and if there's not, perhaps start a meetup group. Join a club, book club, PTA, chess club. Join a sports team or the gym. Go to church. Welcome new neighbors and coworkers. Host a party, a block party, a white elephant party, a baby shower, a pool party, a cookie party, a Halloween party. Well, the list goes on. Leave a message in the comments with any other tips you may have for self-proclaimed introverts so that they can get connected, stay connected, and enjoy the many benefits of connecting with others. Best wishes and much happiness to you all. And who will you connect with today?